Well, well, well. Look who's back. It's you. It's <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going back to the Nightmare arc. Some of my favorite things that have ever come out of K-pop thus far has been this arc. Just musically speaking, visually speaking, the whole shebang. And for that reason, I'm pretty excited for this to continue onward. So, I had the uh, list up, and so then that means that today we are reacting to Good Night because it comes straight from the other song, and I'm very excited, and I think this might actually be the last part of this part of the arc. I think that's this is the end of the prequels. So, let's get into it. Let's check it out. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go down the usual spiel, as I always do. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead, and I listened to everything from Typo Negative to The Misfits to... Uh, <laughs> architects to Arch Spire, the whole shebang. So, um, a friend of mine always wanted me to get into K-pop. I told her no, because most of the time it's cringe. And, <laughs> well, the later on, uh, here I am. I relented, and everything that's happened has just been one crazy avalanche after another. And it's been past my wildest imagination. Anyway, here we go. We are reacting to the final, possible final episode, or final episode, of the prequel arc. Here we go. Mm, yeah, I do remember that. I have a voice. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I think out of all these songs, this particular song, in a way, hit home for me. And it's an interesting way to possibly close out this uh, part of the Nightmare arc. It felt a little bit kind of like the upbeat um, anime intro, in a sense, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's, I, I mean, I absolutely loved it. I, I don't think they, that Dreamcatcher can make any bad music, and this is definitely no exception. Interesting how this is connecting. Okay, so does that mean that he is now, if I'm piecing these things right with my big dumb brain of mine, that he is now trapped inside of the dream world? Right? Because that's what that means. And if that's the case, then go. That is a very interesting prospect on that. Huh. I really, really like their, the instrumentals on this. I really like how they put it all together. It really feels almost like an opera. This one felt like almost like an opera. Like, it would almost be cool if they could actually get a hold of, like, um... What's her, what's her name? Taria from Nightwish. If you haven't ever checked out Nightwish with uh, Taria, it's, she's amazing. <laughs> it, it almost feels kind of Nightwishy. It almost feels kind of Nightwishy, which is personally like one of my favorite bands ever, so I, I have nothing bad to say about this. This is really cool. So now that, now that that's happened, though, it is going to be interesting to see how the story moves forward from here. Does he ever, does he ever get out? Does it ever? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I am very much curious as to see how this will actually all relate. And you know, again, like musically speaking, very fantastic. I, I love Dream Dreamcatcher. In fact, I would love to actually have some Dreamcatcher merch. <laughs> I would. And oh man, all their stuff looks so cool too. They they they've got this on lock down. <laughs> I love their stuff. I love their style. I love their music. It's, it feels like if Fatal Frame was put into a K-pop rock band. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm down for this. I'm very much down for this. So in any case, if you all enjoyed this, let me know. If there's any Easter eggs that I possibly could have missed, please let me know. And go ahead and of course do the whole usual like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And we will see you all next time.